here are the empty streets of LA in the early morning. The sunrise is coming right over the horizon right there. All right, everybody. It is early Saturday morning. I think it's around like 7 a.m. I got up at 6.30 this morning. I'm on my way to go pick up something. I will show you guys more of it uh, after I get it. But for now, all I can say is early bird gets the worm. What's up everybody? Kevin from Stingray Biology here. Uh, today was a very early start. I was up at the crack of dawn. I had to go pick up a shipment. You know, when it comes to the Stingray life, it's never ending. Working late, working early. Um, and in this, in this particular case, I'm up really early in the morning. So I picked up what I needed to pick up. I'm headed back to the shop. I just stopped real quick at a McDonald's to grab some breakfast. And uh, when I get back to the shop, I'll show you what I got. Okay guys, so I'm back at my, my shop. And here are the boxes that I picked up. Any idea what's inside? Okay, if you think you know, put it in the comments below. But you're gonna find out in about two seconds anyways. <laughs> All right, so remember I said I was completely out of food, so I'm going and stocking up. I stocked up on my shrimp, I stocked up on the mussels. I will be stocking up on my silver size, but right now I am stocking up on night crawlers. Check it out. I'm gonna pour, dump these out into these trays. I'm gonna show you guys how I prepare the worms. I mean, not prepare the worms, but you know, lay it out into a, a bedding. Come closer, check a look, show everybody. Look at this. All this is night crawlers. The night crawlers is not cheap, okay? But then I spare no expense when it comes to taking care of my rays. But of course, I'm not rich, so I don't feed them all the time, but I do feed it about once a week with night crawlers. Um, so I'm just gonna be going through these packages, pouring it out into these trays. And then I'm gonna sift through them because sometimes you get a bad batch and there's a bunch of dead ones in there or sometimes they're like they're crushed from shipping right so I'm gonna take those out I don't want to leave those in the tray because that will uh, you know follow the rest of the worms and then I'm gonna take out all this excess dirt and I'm gonna be putting my own fresh dirt inside so this is just a sifting process getting rid of all this stuff I don't have to get all of it just most of it and, but the most important thing is just looking for the dead worms in there and getting them out. Can you guys guess how much worms I got? And then after I'm done doing this, I will also feed the worms to the rays today. Usually I do it on the weekends, once a week. And since this is a fresh batch, you know, might as well give them the freshest food possible, right? Okay, this batch looks good. So I'm gonna set this aside over here. And I'm gonna keep going, tray after tray. And then after I'm done laying them all out, I have fresh dirt right there on the floor. So that, that bag right there, that's fresh bag of dirt. And I will be bedding them out, okay? During transport, what they do is they put them in these brown paper bags, and uh, the worms can chew through the bags. You see it? They they do eat the the paper matter. Um, but when transporting worms, it's important that you put them in a container that's breathable. So the paper bag is breathable, and the cardboard box is breathable. You never want to ship it in a plastic bag, right? They'll they'll all be dead. So you see all this dried up dirt that they've basically gone through and consumed already. I'm gonna pull that out. I will give you guys a hint as to how many worms is here. Each bag contains 500 worms. All right, so do the math. There is two bags per box and I got five boxes. Now, I mean, like I said, this is an expensive food. I think if you calculate it, per pound it probably costs more than lobster <laughs> okay um, so that's how well 
these rays eat. I think on a retail scale, these worms probably sell for about $120 or so per thousand, I think. All right? I haven't bought retail in a long time. Um, I buy this wholesale, obviously. But in one feeding, my rays can probably finish off half of what's here. So can you imagine? That's probably a one, two, three, almost like a $400 meal, you know? But that's why I pace it out, okay? So I'm just gonna continue with doing this. See, like that's all dead here, all wrapped up. Gotta get rid of that. And I throw it onto the, the plants here. I throw it onto the plants here. Um, it's good fertilizer for the plants. That's <laughs> I probably have the best plants on my complex because I'm always dumping um, this stuff here. We're just gonna cut for a bit right here. I'm gonna just keep doing the same thing. And once I get them all out, we'll start recording again and I'll show you what the next step is, okay? I'll be right back. For those of you who uh, don't consume this amount, you know, um, I, I, I was saying before, I was just saying that uh, you can also order it online. Um, and I think it's like I said, a hundred something dollars per a thousand. But then um, there's a difference between European night crawlers. Come closer. There's a difference between European night crawlers and Canadian night crawlers. These are Canadian night crawlers. They need the cold. They do need to be refrigerated. The European ones are mostly what you see online, and they're much smaller. I think they're like about this size or half the size of these Canadians, and um, they don't need to be refrigerated. You can keep them at room temperature, so you can choose what you um, you know want to choose I mean you you guys can decide what you want to use but I like to use the the Canadians now um, if you're using really small quantities you can buy it at your local fishing store bait tackle store um, they sell them in little cups like of, of, of 12 but it's not cheap I, I it might be like anywhere from five to ten dollars a cup you know when you buy it retail like that at a bait and tackle store it's almost like 75 cents to a dollar a worm and that's pretty expensive and um, there's no way I would be able to afford <laughs> to feed all these rays this kind of quantity at a dollar a worm that would make a feeding like <laughs> I can't even imagine how much six seven hundred dollars a feeding so but you know I understand not everyone can use this kind of volume and I'm pretty sure your wife or your girlfriend probably will never allow you to put this in the in the refrigerator last thing you want is they open the refrigerator and see a pile of worms like this in the fridge all right but I'm pretty much um, done here um, picking out all the dead worms and um, one thing I did want to point out to you that I've learned over the years dealing with these worms is if I pour them out and let them sit okay the live ones will burrow their way down into the bottom and then the dead ones will remain sitting at the top and uh, you can see it here these trays show them right now see I've been letting this sit for a little while so it's burrowed down so now this is a dead one right here so I would say I did a pretty good job sifting through and pulling out all the dead ones because right now this is the only one dead one I see out of the, the few trays that I have done okay you if you guys keep black worms live black worms at home I'm sure you see it also all the live worms bunch up together around the sides and then the dead ones are always in the middle so I mean with any living creature who wants to be stuck next to something dead right if he was next to a dead body you would want to run away from it too okay so now I'm up to the point of uh, putting the, the new dirt in and then I will be bringing these into the fridge what I'm adding in here as bedding is a, a soil with peat moss okay I put a light layer. Okay. And I'm going to do this tray over here. Now, typically when we when I buy these worms, the bedding that I removed had newspaper in them. Um, I don't want to mix any newspaper in. It. I'm just going to give them straight dirt. So now, I'm not going to put any in that tray because that's the tray that I'm gonna feed today. Look, see, another dead worm right here. That's the that's the tray that I'm, huh? look, here's another one right here. Anyways, huh, this is another dead one. See, they're starting to float up. Um, 
So anyways, yeah, I'm not gonna put any uh, new bedding on that one because I'm gonna feed that tray today. So now a lot of times this soil comes in clumped up like this in balls. So I'm gonna just crush them up, soften it up so that the, it's easier for the worms to uh, eat because they eat the soil. And in some cases, if your soil is really dry, you can take a spray bottle and just spray it lightly just to make the soil damp. You don't want it wet, okay? Just a little bit damp. If you make it too wet, um, the worms won't be able to breathe. The most important is that they can move around and come up for air. Okay, so see, this tray is done. And I will do this tray now. Let me do this one. So I, I have an order of how I, will, I, I use the trays. And uh, the trays that are gonna sit in the fridge the longest, I put more dirt in. So that one had the least, uh, and I think this one had the, the second most, and this one had the third most. So as I use each tray, because if I don't put enough or they consume, the worms start to get hungry, then I'll have to re-bed them, take out the old dirt again and put in new dirt. But if you do it right, these worms last a really long time in your fridge. I can keep these in my fridge for about I think three months, four months, and they'll be fine as long as you change the bedding. But I probably will consume it all in about a month. Basically one tray a week. I also feed it uh, more frequently to newborn pups as well. So there we go. Now let's get this into the fridge. Come on guys, let's go. This last tray, which I will be feeding later, I'm just gonna put it in the fridge for now, right there. All right, so let me clean up and then I will prepare the worms for feeding and I'll show you how much they love, how much they love these worms. 